Hello there ladies and gentlemen, TX141 here, also known as Paul, bringing you episode 4 of my War Thunder Live series. In today's instalment, we're going to be taking part in the Henan Province operation on the side of the Russian Air Force. Now, I'm not going to lie, I've already given this operation a couple of tries. Been a bit disappointed, I've flown on the side of the Imperial Japanese Armed Air Force in my KI-43. And it's been quite a one-sided and boring operation, with the Japanese winning every time. So as a result, I thought I'd up the challenge, up the ante, and take my lag 3A out, the flying coffin, and see what I can do. Now I'd like to say thank you quickly for all the support that you guys and girls showed on episode 3. I was quite shocked at how well that went down, and hopefully I can live up to your expectations in another exciting episode. Let's take off and see what we can do. Now what I know from history is that the lag 3A was not a brilliant aircraft. We're going up against pretty a lot of KI-43s, or well, that's what I've seen so far from experience, so we're going to need to hit them from above, because they can outturn us very easily, and the only thing they can't do is match us for sort of dive speed. I think we're able to maintain a slightly higher dive speed than them. So, I'm going to fly towards the edge, I'm probably going to transition a few times here, and I'm going to build up my altitude. Noting that I haven't got the usage of WEP, so I'm going to have to do this all manually. Although I do love the fact that I've got quite a restrained roll rate, and so I'm going to have to be very careful when going after targets. That 120mm cannon and one 12.7mm machine gun hell should make up for this deficit. And here we go. And I've just realised I've only put 30 minutes of fuel in the tank. This is going to be either the best game ever or the biggest disaster I've ever had. Climbs quite nicely though. Look, there's all little sort of recon aircraft over there. Well, that's new to me. Oh, well, those enemy sons of guns have got a couple of A7H E1s, which I believe are Heinkel 112s exported to Japan. No conductive messaging going on. Okay, so we're 21 kilometers away from the battlefield. I'm going to start turning now. We've got some speed, we've got some altitude. And we can build the rest of it up on our way in. I do find it occasionally annoying how the instructor seems to pretty much override the entire plane. I can appreciate I'm using mouse and keyboard, so as a result, the game should pretty much take over at certain instances, but it's just a slight irritation. I'm just going to get a glass of water. I think we're going to have to sort of help out by coming in on the tail of enemy planes that are attacking our teammates. That's the only way we're going to win because, well, they've got, I mean, their fighters should have the superior edge in pretty much every regard. Alright, they're not armed with as much as ourselves, but we haven't got the durability to shrug off 12.7mm rounds that fast. What I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and get to 3,500 metres, build some speed, and start picking off KI-43s. They're manoeuvrable, yes, but... I'm sure I can make some of them have trouble dodging bullets. Oh, TB3M17s. I'm amazed I haven't seen any of those in arcade yet, those really slow, death defying bombers. Yeah, let's keep our eyes open. It's going to be one short trip. Right, we should be the highest plane now. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven enemy Japs still alive. That KI-43 is just zooming back up, probably doing a zoom climb. Hey, we completed a secondary objective. I don't know what it was, but yes! Right, I-153 is climbing. A bit of a risky manoeuvre. Okay, here we go, engine off. Combat flaps at full extension. Just ease it down. They're gradually dropping some altitude. So. Where do they go to? Oh, there. I was going to say, where on earth did those guys disappear off to? 
Okay, we're building speed. Kind of a little bit less stable at these speeds. Engine full power now. Closer. Got a hit. Another hit. We've got a crit. And that's elevator damage. He's going. Yeah! And we're one up. Okay, on to the next one. Come on, let's make it two. We've got to do this. The time for living off of one kill a game is over. Now it's time for two. Okay, we've got speed. Let's keep going. <laughs> I told you I always get excited. <laughs> oh, I've got to stop. Right, they're, oh, they're landing. Oh, I can't I can't kill people who've landed. I know I got killed by a guy who killed me when I'd landed, but I can't oh I can't do that. That's not sporting. Uh wait a second. I don't think these enemy chaps are in the airfield. Let's start getting some altitude. I don't know what's up with my voice today. I'm gradually losing my voice. Well, I can't see any smudges, apart from the dirt on my screen, so there's no enemy planes down there. Best message ever. Has anyone seen the enemy? Yes, they're on the ground. They're called ground units. Not that kind. There's two of the blighters still... Oh, hello. Ah, I see what's going on here. Oh, that's flak. That's nasty flak. Right, the A7's got to be... Oh, blimey, that was close. Yeah, the A7's using the airfield as cover. Ah. You win this round, boy. You win this round. No, I haven't had any conductive, uh, constructive, conductive. This is an electronics 101. Constructive replies to my question. All right, we're gonna have to set. That AI is fig. Ah, there it goes. Ah, because our friendly. Uh, our friendly fighter has drawn some of its attention. I get the feeling they're going in for it. They, I see some. Yeah, right. The A7 HE1 and the KR43 are the last two alive, of course, and they're covering each other. So what we're going to have to do is come in fast and take them out. And they've just been reset. Well, that's not. I'm worried for our lag free because they're really going to start taking hits and we better cut the engine back and start saving some fuel. Now the KF 43 has been critted again. And going by the fact that nobody's tailing the lag would indicate that the A7 hasn't been able to actually go ahead and land. Uh oh no, they're taking fire from someone. I've got to help them out. Yeah, that is a lot of gunfire. Engine off, I might as well let the plane... Ah, he's taking crit. I've got to get down there and get my hand. Oh no, they're on fire. And let me guess what's going to happen with all these AA guns. Yep. <laughs> Well, it shouldn't matter anyway. If I just stay over our airfield, I'll be fine. Why should I worry about them? If I start trying to attack them on their airfield, I'm playing the way they want it. They clearly know what they're doing. Okay, this is going to be a long mission, I reckon. Do a bit of uh, dancing in order to break the enemy flak fire. In a minute. 
I'm going to have to start sending some messages to RSV2M. And myself to take them out. Not the nicest way of putting it out, I admit, but it's going to be the only way. Oh, instructor, please. God, oh, God. <laughs> I just want to level the plane out. Oh, I, I'll be honest, I can appreciate the instructors probably stopping me from, say, stalling at certain points, but no, that that's just irritating. Mind you, I'm probably learning the realities of flying a plane. Well, the SB2M's been a bit proficient in that regard. Of acting as bait, they're flying very far forward. Cut the engine back. Remember, they're going to be on full fuel tanks now. Okay, the Kara 43's left the safety of their airfield, or they're gradually leaving it now. I'm not. I'm going to pretend I'm. I'm busy listening to some sort of pop music and chilling out up high. Just teasing the enemy AA. Because the A7HE1's also going to be down there. Yep, there they both are. And we're going to have to swoop and stoop on them. Right, the flak is still firing up at me, which is what I'm in. Right, here they come. I don't want to go too early. And I'm already getting incredibly excited. We could have three kills here. Right. Start coming around now. I'm going to cut the engine. Gonna start descending. There we go. Right. They turn sharply, so raise the flaps. We'll zoom. Ah, the Kawa 43 is going away. And then we'll loop over. <laughs> and the A7HE1 should be running out of energy at this point. Well, I am as well, actually. Okay, I'm running out of energy faster than he or she is, that's a shame. Okay, fly off. Wish I could have used the rudder there to swing round, but uh, the instructor's not going to let me. Irritating. Unless I go for a split S. And now I can't roll. Can I bring the nose up? There we go. I'll just keep them entertained then. Cool. Yep, yeah, someone's really trying to get some hits. <laughs> Come on, plane. You come on. I can. R I can roll. Please. Oh, game. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fly my joystick. I wonder where that Kai 43 buggered off to. Oh. I'm not losing my temper, don't get me wrong folks, I'm not, it's just, it's frustrating because I'm trying to force the plane to come around. It's been coming around. Yeah, I got you! You're missing a wing as well, John. Good night. That's two. Yeah! Sorry for the rather uh, 
vicious reaction there. Right, KR 43. Now, we got to be smart. This guy, I don't know, I've got a, a sort of dark feeling in the force concerning this KR 43. I, I don't know. How long have we got left? 9 minutes and 45 seconds. And I've got ample fuel, so I can run the engine at full now. SB2M's going to be attacked. I'm going to come around. Or is that KR-43 coming towards us? Right, they're going for the SB2M. We've got to catch them while they're engaging. I mean, who knows? The SB2M might set them on fire. Right, we're going to build our speaks. We're only going to get one pass. Right, focus on the SB2M. Pretend you're going towards him or her and that way you'll catch. Come on. Almost there. Come on. Got ample ammunition, we just got hit him. A little closer. Flaps on. Ah, bugger! Come on. No way! Yes! Free! I got free! Holy sh... Oh, I don't want to crash into you. You're a good guy. <laughs> well, it's not an ace, but it's too closer. And I can't believe it. <laughs> being said let's take a look at some post game stats <laughs> yes <sighs> I even got my cannon upgrade oh it's a good day <sighs> okay so in review for the first time in realistic mode I have achieved three kills one of which was a solo engagement with KR-43 and the other two with assistance from fellow teammates. One being on a A7HE1, which I believe is an exported Heinkel 112B0 actually, due to the amount of cannon fire that was being sprayed at me. And the third and final kill being on a KI-43. I'm not going to go into all the earnings, but I... Uh... That was fun. And I said at the start of the video, because of my mistake with the fuel load, either something special was going to happen or something tragic. Well, something special did happen. <sighs> and we didn't come top of the board, but it doesn't bother me. So I've got to win now. And I'll have a drink while I'm at it. Just chill out, breathe in deep. Alright, let's try that all again. Well, I didn't come top, but who cares? I, uh... I feel, I just feel so happy right now. Ah, let me guess, in the next episode you'll be expecting four or five kills. <laughs> well, who knows. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I've been TX1 for one. And if you've enjoyed this installment of War Thunder Live, why not leave a like, comment or subscribe for future installments. I'll be doing them once every week, of course, and oh, I love this series. I love doing this. And anywho... Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care and good luck in the skies.